right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to unit three. Unit three is all about geometry and perimeter and area and all that good stuff. Um, the good news in eighth grade is not only do you have this wonderful device, your calculator, but you also have this fabulous piece of artwork, which is all of your formulas for everything you're gonna need to know. So we're gonna use both of those today. All right, so we're gonna start with perimeter. Perimeter, what is it? It is the distance around a shape, the distance around a shape. So that is the distance around the outside. I like to picture a little tiny person that walks around the whole shape, and that is the perimeter. Doesn't matter what the shape is, as long as they are straight sides, in order to find it is you add all sides. Okay, so on this first one, uh, the biggest misconception is that people will try and tell me that the perimeter is 10 plus 800. But there are four sides to the shape, so you'd have to do 10 plus 10 plus 800 plus 800. So we've got our calculator, and make sure you clear your RAM, and we're going to use our calculator. 10 plus 10 plus 800 plus 800 equals 1,620 um, and this is a typo. This is supposed to say centimeters. Centimeters. Don't leave your numbers naked. Always make sure that you have a measurement on there. On the next one, we would do 5 plus 4 plus 2, which gives us 11. And you're going to continue on with that. Uh, pause the video, solve all of those, and then come back and we'll check. All right, so those should be the answers that you came up with. Double check yours with mine, make sure they're all right, and then we'll move on to the inside. Next question is, what is circumference? So circumference is the same thing as perimeter, except it is the distance around a circle. So picture the tables in my room. Um, you sit around the circumference of a table. Your books take up the area of the table. And there are two formulas for the circumference of a circle. So if we look at our formula chart, circumference of a circle could be either c equals pi, 2 pi r, or c equals pi d. So you're going to write both of those. c equals 2 pi r, or c equals pi d. And in those formulas, r stands for the radius, radius, which is half the distance across the circle. So you can remember that by um, a small r only goes halfway through. And then d stands for diameter. And you can remember that because the letter d goes all the way across. So radius, diameter. Again, you have a formula chart. You have a calculator. So all you have to do is plug in your numbers. You have to know, is this a diameter? So this is a diameter, but this is a radius. This is a diameter, this is a radius. This is a diameter, and this is a radius. So depending on what information you have, that's the formula you choose. So if I'm gonna use this formula, I would do C equals pi D, which means I would plug in pi in the diameter. Now on your calculator, you can put times eight or you can just type in, but I'll show you. You could do pi, which is second, and then pi times eight and enter. Or you could do pi times eight and enter. It doesn't matter, either way you get the same answer. So your answer would be 25. 1, 3, 3, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you show that it's an irrational number by giving me those three dots to show that it keeps going and going and going. Okay, so pause the video, take a minute, and solve the rest of the. Okay, so here are the answers to that. Check, um, check your work with my work and make sure that you are understanding what's going on. And then we'll move okay, on. Okay, so we're going to come back to those word problems. Now we're looking at what is area. And area is the space inside. A shape the space inside a shape and of course we're just talking about 2d shapes right now so it's a space inside a shape um, it says name the shapes below and give the area formula so pause the video and do that real quick again use your formula chart to find the formulas and then come back and check your right so this is what you should have on your paper trapezoid parallelogram circle and triangle with their formulas so check your work and then we'll move on. in the formulas whenever you see a small b that stands for the base length. 
the length of the base. And then H stands for the height length. So the length of the height. Obviously, a circle doesn't have a base or a height. That's why you need a radius. So this is a circle. Our formula is pi r squared. So we would plug in our numbers, pi times the radius squared. So that brings us over to our calculator, pi times the radius, and then this button right here gives me my exponent box squared, and enter. So 113.097 dot, 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 okay? Next shape is a parallelogram. And the formula is A equals BH. So I would plug in my numbers, the base is 12, the height is 12. So I would solve that and it gives me 144. This guy is also a parallelogram, same formula, A equals BH. My base length is six, my height is 14. I'd come over to my calculator, six times 14 gives me 84. This next shape is a triangle. So I would use the formula a equals one half b h, and I'd plug in my numbers. One half times the base length times the height. So I use my calculator. We need our fraction menu. Alpha y equals one half times the base times the height equals 32. And then again, this is a triangle, one half B H using my calculator. Oh, let me plug in my numbers first. One half times the base times the height. Nope, not second, alpha Y equals one half times the base times the height. Gives me 25. And then do not leave your numbers naked. So this is um, feet squared because it's area. So those are square measurements, yards squared, inches squared, yards squared, and yards squared.